right, today I'm going to check out Panasia. Alright, I'm in Panasia. My mom's looking for a winter melon. We're going to make a special recipe. My mom's going to look for a small one. Look at all these huge ones. Small ones. We're going to make Don Glad's own. We found one that's better shape. Even though it's a little bit shaped on right there. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today my mom and I are going to prepare a special recipe. I haven't had this, oh my goodness, probably like many years ago. So we're making a steamed winter melon soup. Okay, my, we bought this winter melon from Asia, Pan Asia. Okay, my mom found a location where we cut off the top. This is a uh, Oh, this is about, about a 10 pounder. Because it was 59 cents per pound, it cost us, cost us almost like $6 or so. All right. In Chinese, this is called Dong Gua Zong. So we're cutting off probably about two inches from the top. You want to save a little bit of the uh, handle, this thing sticking out, so it's easy to pull out. Okay, this is what the winter mound looks like. In the past, my parents have grown this, but uh, for some reason, uh, the past couple of years, they haven't uh, harvested this or planted this, but we have plenty of melons and vegetables out in the backyard. So what you want to do is remove the center uh, seed. Okay, this is all part of the melon. Winter melon is similar to a watermelon, except obviously it's not I sweet. See, so you got zhong yong what am I? So if you want to plant it, these are the seeds that you want to keep. My mom said this is not it's really an aged melon, so it's pretty young. So what you want to do is carve out a nice shape, a nice round shape. That's where you would put all of your sexy, delicious ingredients. Now I'm curious, maybe I'll try with a watermelon next time because watermelon has that sweet flavor. So you just want to carve out anything sticking out from the center core. You want to leave the main meat of the winter melon. That looks like a pretty good shape right there. All right, so you want to use a tall pot, make sure the winter melon fits. We have to make sure it fit in there and it does. And we'll be using a clay pot. Do you see water on the bottom? So you want to kind of like floating. Well, actually that's where it produces the steam, the water on the bottom. All right, here are all the ingredients that we put in there. I think about roughly 11 ingredients. We don't have any pork, so we decided to put in some uh, uh, kind of like chopped up pork ribs. You got some uh, black eyed peas, um, dried baby shrimp, uh, uh, goji berries, some of these uh, dried fox nuts. Uh, and and some of these uh, dry lotus seed linzi, all right. And here we have some mussels. Preferably, you want to use dried mussels, but that's all we have to work with. Okay, let's all put it in here. The watermelon has—I mean, the winter melon has been rinsed. You want to put all your ingredients in there. Just pile it up. It's not required that you. Uh, Cook it a little bit. My mom decided to do that in case that make sure all the ingredients are soft because obviously we don't want it to be undercooked. Oh, and some dry scallops too. And a little bit of peanuts. I think preferably, personally, I will use raw peanuts. Okay, and then as you can see, we put a little bit of broth. Now I'm gonna add the Mussels, okay. Wow, look at that. It's filled up pretty good. We also added some dried longan. This is the bag that I bought from the Seattle grocery store. I brought it from my parents. And some jujubes to make it sweet. So the longan and the jujubes would definitely bring out the sweetness. Okay, put all the ingredients in there. Alright. 
So we are adding one. Now keep in mind when it's boiling, you know, the as the melon cooks from the from the heat, it's going to bring out the natural hydration of the liquid from the melon. So you don't have to add too much water. We decided to add more water. Because technically you want like um, minimum of like eight cups of water, but because we put a lot of ingredients in there. Since we have so many ingredients in here, we're gonna cook it for about one and a half to two hours on high. And there's if there's a need, replenish the water to the pot every 20 minutes. Make sure it's not boiled through all the way that it's evaporated. Okay, let's check up on it. 30 more minutes. Okay, mom, I think it's ready. It's been cooking for about over uh, two, two hours. Wow, look at the texture. But be careful, it's gonna be hot. Whoa! I touched the side. Ooh, this is too hot. What's well, my mom used to work in a restaurant, so she's used to the hotness. Whoa, that looks so good. Oh, wow. Stir it, mom. Yeah, wow. That looks so beautiful. Good job. Taste it. Mom, taste it. Get a spoonful and taste it. See ya. Lo gang see ya. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt right now. Just a little bit, mom. I don't think she added any. But of course, with all these ingredients. Ham! Alright, let's see how it turned out. Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness, it smells so good. Let me try to get a little bit of all of the healthy ingredients. Wow, look at that. Oh man, put this in my bowl right here. I know my parents are also excited and also my sister is excited to try this because we haven't tried it in such a long time. Ooh, but I want some juice in there too. I want some soup in there, not just all the ingredients. There we go. And of course, don't forget the winter melon part. You just gonna scrape it along the walls to get that, but you don't want to break the barrier because it will leak. Here we go, guys! I'm super excited to try. It. Look at that! Oh, it smells so good. All of those healthy ingredients. First off, gotta go for the main ingredients, which is the winter melon. Ooh, it's got a sweetness to it. Probably brought on by the uh, juju bees and the longan. Wow, look at that. Here are some of the ingredients. It has a little crunch to it, but just simply soak it in water or cook it a little bit longer. See some of the ha made the shrimp. Mmm. What about the oyster? I look for the oyster. Ah, there's the oyster right there. See that? Gotta have the seafood. Ah, so good. The soup is so good. I'm just gonna do it as Chinese style. Ah, delicious, mom. Mom, you did a great job. Hope you guys enjoyed this special recipe. Personally, I would probably put less ingredients. I would definitely hook it up with a uh, shrimp, crab, maybe duck. For a little bit of the black eyed peas, some raw peanuts, um, juju bees, and dry long on. I think that's what I would personally put. Not not too much, but my mom, when she cooks, she tends to put a little bit too much because she wants everything to be super healthy. Super delicious, mom. I give this an A. Of an a. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Just click on the subscribe button because it's going to be a lot more exciting cooking with mom. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your family. Eat hard, work out harder, baby.